Hello, Internet. It's time to talk comics. Let's talk about Descender. Now, Descender is a comic that was published this week and put out by Image and decidedly what's coming out about it is in a American though honestly I would say North American context, meaning the United States and Canada is the main reference point that we hear about. However, this comic is European in its aesthetic and influence beyond that we find that Descender is a science fiction comic in what many would argue is in the purest sense. Just years ago that would have been novel. Now it is a dime a dozen. But also like dime store pulp it has its place the problem is that as what appears to be a European comic, this first issue is but prologue. We cannot judge, we cannot assume much of this work as we are not yet in the story proper. So, we can't get a sense of the pacing, but we do know it starts out slow. But if you will allow me to break from a peer review, at which endpoint I would have to to advise you to be wary of purchasing such a title. I want to raise a larger issue about the climate of these comics. So basically guys, Descender is the purest example of something I've been talking about if you guys have been watching in more recent months. Descender is an example of a comic that you cannot buy this single entity and make a true evaluation. This is not a story. This is a taster. This is clearly set up to be a sci-fi epic. And you can see some of the threads coming down the pipe. There's the plan the name of Tesla. There's the robotic boy who is just screaming ghost in the machine. There's the great space epic. There, there's the play of machine and man, which creates a lot of 
othering and ideals. There, and there's a lot of ways this can go. I'm not saying I, I can tell you how this is going to, I'm not saying this is an obvious thing. This looks like it's going to be very interesting. This though is not. This is an ad. This is potential. This is not execution. And it is not the creators, it is not the publisher's fault. This is the climate, this is the standard. But Descender is an example of a comic that you cannot buy this single entity and make a true evaluation. This is not a story. This is a taster. This is clearly set up to be a sci-fi epic. And you can see some of the threads coming down the pipe. There's the plan the name of Tesla. There's the robotic boy who is just screaming ghost in the machine. There's the great space epic. There, there's the play of machine and man, which creates a lot of othering and ideals. There, and there's a lot of ways this can go. I'm not saying, I, I can tell you how this is going to, I'm not saying this is an obvious thing. This looks like it's going to be very interesting. This, though, is not. This is an ad. This is potential. This is not execution. And it is not the creators. It is not the publisher's fault. This is the climate. This is the standard. But... Given that there are different eras of comics, if you want to skip past a lot of things, we are kind of coming out of a couple different ages here. First, there's the general idea that for so long now we've have the, had the standardization of the trade. We've also had this incoming of digital and the continuation of comics has been standardized. We do not expect a single issue to be its own contained story. We do, however, expect each issue to kind of be a significant chunk, and generally we do expect a first issue to be a big hook. Um, I would argue a comic like Descender, in order for it to hook you, you almost have to have a higher grasp of sci-fi themes to appreciate a bit of where this comic even could be going, a little bit of what I was talking about earlier. I'm not saying you have to be a huge sci-fi geek, you just kind of got to know your stuff. On a, on a baseline, you can't be new to sci-fi, you couldn't be new to comics and be like, oh yeah, I, I see. It's kind of slow, it's kind of bizarre, and it really reads more like a preview and the last page is a bizarre introduction that doesn't feel like it necessarily <laughs> belongs which could open up a whole nother mess of things but I feel this issue is a great example of why we need to explore different publishing standards for comics because the first volume of Descender is going to feel like the first chunk of a story. It, this is clearly something that's meant to go on for a while. It may not be some huge epic thing, I have no idea, but um, clearly this isn't going to be wrapped up in, you know, like a few issues. I <laughs> like, in order to appreciate, in order to make a fair judgment, in order to get past some people who aren't just going to immediately fall in love with this, you need that chunk. In order to satisfy anything, you need that chunk. 
in order to appreciate the interplay of themes and the way they're going to be building characters because clearly there is some craft going on here and that's awesome and if it's going to be pulled off well at all in order to appreciate that you kind of need to read it closer together you need to be able to tie those threads and issue by issue month by month this comic suffers. Lots of the image line, now that they're not as novel, are going to suffer because we can't necessarily just take all these high fun sci fi concepts and not kind of blend them together in our mind when they're right next to each other and you're trying to remember which is which a year down the line. Now of course there's a whole mess of personal bias in what I'm saying. There's a whole lot of, you know, just freaking reread your comics, right? There, there's a whole lot of like personal discipline, sure, but when you're marketing to the mass, when you're trying to grab people, um, most people don't read this stuff in issues necessarily um you go buy a bunch of back issues you buy trades you know a lot of people grab this stuff digitally it's just something has to give here and i think expecting every story to fit this you know 22 to 34 ish page chunk at a time distillment is insane. Um, maybe giving creators a large chunk of time finishing something and then coming back to it and then putting a chunk out at a time initially with kind of a premium on a trade or graphic novel could work and I feel like Image is at the place to start exploring this. Um, different regions kind of published differently. I feel like America has been gridlocked in the major, the mainstream comic book publishing way for so long. What, what can we do as consumers to kind of say, hey, let's try something new. And I, I think this is the sort of title that begs that question. But please, please, um, let me know if you agree with me, if you read it, even if you didn't read it and you just think the bigger question of what I'm asking is interesting, leave a comment, hit me back with video, just please, I want to hear people's thoughts on the idea of breaking from the standard publishing model that we have for certain things that deserve something different.